Hi everyone, it's Miss Cecilia here and thanks for joining for our Mother's Day craft. Let's quickly go through the supplies that were in your activity kit. So you should have a bunch of pipe cleaners, a bag of beads, a ribbon, three green straws, and make sure that you have some school glue and scissors handy. Let's get started. So you're going to count out all of your super sparkly pipe cleaners. Those are gonna be the petals for our flowers. And then the three plain green pipe cleaners will be the stems. You'll see me here cutting the yellow pipe cleaner into three sections. Those will act as the stamen for the flower. And then you are going to cut your shiny sparkly pipe cleaners. I cut mine a little bit smaller because I wanted my petals to be smaller. They'll end up being curved, but feel free to cut them larger if you would like bigger petals. And you'll see what I mean as the video gets going. So here I am cutting into thirds or fourths. I would recommend doing thirds because those give you a little bit of a longer piece to work with. But again, you could cut them as long as you would like. So now you're going to count out what you need to make one flower. We will be making three flowers together. So you need one long green pipe cleaner, one yellow piece, and five shorter pieces. And you see me here uh, stringing the beads onto the sparkly short piece. Now you loop it around and secure the two ends together. And here you'll see me doing it again. You only want to put a couple beads on because you want there to be some flexibility in your band. And so you'll see me do it again. We're going to go around to make five petals for our leaf. And you see how my leaves are a little smaller or my petals are a little smaller? That's because I cut my pipe cleaner a little shorter. But if you cut your pipe cleaner longer, um, your petals will be bigger. So that's something to keep in mind as you are setting up your craft. And you can arrange them however you would like. I'm kind of alternating my colors. You might have different colored pipe cleaners so you can coordinate what beads you want to put on your pipe cleaners. You could make a pattern if you'd like. I kind of like the random look. I think it looks pretty but you can do whatever you would like to do. Okay so what am I doing now? We grabbed our uh, green plain pipe cleaner, which will be the stem of the flower, and we're wrapping the end of the petal piece onto the top of the green pipe cleaner and then following it down in a line. I know it's a little hard to see my hands here, um, but so you take that end of the pipe cleaner and twist it around onto the green stem and then voila, there's your flower. And you take your yellow piece and glue it right in the center. You can swirl it like a spiral. And then you put a little bit of glue in the center and voila, there's your flower. Now to make sure it stands up, you can lace the straw right through it and there you have it. Now you'll see us go through and make another one. You have enough materials to make at least three flowers, but feel free to make more if you would like and you can get creative. So like I said, you can cut your pipe cleaners larger um, depending on how big you want your petals to be. Um, and I put about four to five beads on each petal, but you can put more depending on how much space you have. The key is really to have enough space so that you can screw on the petals onto the green stem. So you wanna make sure you leave a little bit of room at the end so you can twist it right on. And then there you go, flower number two is almost done. You see me rearranging the petals there a little bit. It was giving me a hard time. And then you place a little bit of glue, stick that straw through so it stands up straight. And now we're on to flower number three. So I'm picking out the ones I would like, selecting my beads, putting it right on there, twisting it around, securing the end, but leaving some room so that I can secure it onto the stem, the green pipe cleaner. And you can make any kind of pattern you'd like. You could try to coordinate the color beads that you have with the color pipe cleaner that you're using. And now you take those petals and wrap the stem around that end piece of the petal. And go around 
around in a circle to make a flower shape. And then spiral up your yellow pipe cleaner and glue it on down. For the final touch, we have our straw. And now we get the ribbon. So you'll get your green piece of ribbon and wrap it around into a pretty little bow, however you would like. And then there you have it. You have the gift for your special someone. I hope you enjoyed this Mother's Day flower bouquet craft. Thanks for joining and I'll see you all soon. Bye everyone.